morning everybody it's Tandy the Canadian Samper it's October 15th we've got three projects for you today and we're using ring with nature and you know how I love a good tree and leaves and mountains and all the things so this stamp set has a ton of stamps I've stamped them all for you uh, so you can see what they look like and kind of see how they go together there's some two-step stamping in there and then this it's a dynamic embossing folder so I've never used one of these before and it's super cool so you have a die in your embossing folder and then it embosses and cuts it at the same time it's magical all right so what's happened to me this week is I have new glasses <laughs> these are loners I need bifocals so these I'm a mess. I can't really see. Like if I have these off, I can sort of see myself. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna, I think it's okay. I've been crafting for a couple of hours already this morning, but I kind of look like this and I'm constantly doing this. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. Three projects, so giddy up. Now, I've also pulled my camera mount down a bit more so that, um, so you can see I just had a weird Facebook comment come up uh, all right mini catalog let's do it I'm gonna show you what we're working with now there's a few different uh, there's actually several pieces to this project so I'm on page 62 of the what is this mini catalog morning uh, Terry which I think is Marie top of the day so these are your stamps and then I'm just gonna pull this closer so you can see so you've got stamp set which is here then you've got an embossing folder and then you've got your dies so this one I need a pointy tool this one is one big like it's all connected and then these ones are individual why would they do that here you can see it here here's the big one and then the embossing folder and then this so you have this one that cuts out these big pieces and then you've got the smaller individual ones which cut out these ones good morning pam say hello everybody so uh as you may or may not know uh, the catalog is an awesome place to get inspiration so back here on page 77 is where the bundle is. So you get 10% off with the bundle. So you get, yeah, like all the things. Okay, so let's get to it. Now let's go over supplies. Of course, I'm going to be using Ring With Nature. This is our stamp set. Morning, Nancy and Lori. Uh, okay, Lori, good. Thanks. You'll come by later to get your order. Perfect. Perfect. And then here's our bits and bobs. So I am using this, whoops, uh, uh, ringed with rings of love, which is from celebration. If you don't have this paper, it's not the end of the world. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can work around it. And I will tell you how to do that. And then our bits and pieces so that you have our colors for today. Mint macaron, poppy parade, early espresso, and then I can't find my sleeve, but this is crumb cake. Hi, Kate. Good morning. All right, now I do have here all, I, I can't decide, I'm indecisive on embellishments today. So we're just going to see how it goes. We've got three projects. And so I'm going to do like beginner, casual, and avid. Oh, the avid, y'all, is crazy. Okay, I'm not going to do that yet. So let's go over the stamp set and then let's get to crafting. So they're photopolymer. Uh, there's a ton of them. There's 22 stamps in here. And then these are the dies. This is what they actually look like. It's a bit of a mess back there. So I've just, I'm have i showing you the photocopy. Now, in case I forget, this is the top two so you can use it as a mushroom or you can use it as an acorn. It actually almost looks like a little face, hey? Like his two little eyes and his mouth. But then mushroom or acorn. Okay. 
here's what the stamps look like and what I want to point out to you. So this is the ring, tree ring. And then this is first generation. I've, all of this is in Memento Tuxedo Black. And then this is second generation, which is what we're going to do on the back of, I think, the casual card. So then you've got sentiments here. Five of them. Now, uh, you've got a little house. So this is two pieces. I've done the body of the house, second generation stamping, and then the top of the house. So you could do that with a couple of different colors and, and sort of make it super fun. You know what I'm envisioning? Uh, I think Beecher Bay. Is that right? Oh, by you, Kate. I drive by it when we're going to East Suit Crafting. They have these cool houses that are like red and yellow and blue. I, bet, I, I see a slimline card with these three houses in those sort of fun pops of color. That's good. Okay, so then this is a poinsettia. There's a debate, y'all. Poinsettia, poinsettia. I don't know. I like poinsettia, and I don't think it's right. And then this, these little dots here go in the center, but it wasn't going to show up if I did it in black. Now, these three go with these. So you stamp this, and it's got little centers, and then you uh, take your stamp and go over it. So you just line it up. And Kate, I also love photopolymer stamps and this works perfectly because in this case, you can see right through the stamp so you can get to the center. And same with these, you can line up these three dots. I mean, you have to get right over it and you can line this up. So that's pretty. And then you've got leaves. I like this one because it, it's a bit luff, it's a bit uh, floppy. That's the word I was gonna use, floppy and some other greenery, a heart, which we're gonna use. These are berries, so you would color those red, I think. Color or stamp them red. Uh, this is the top of the acorn, and then the die cut was the other piece, and then these are your mushrooms. So this is two stamps. So you've got your stems in first generation black, and then I've done the mushrooms in second generation. So there's like a ton of stamps in here, which is awesome. All right, let's get to it, shall we? Yes, the house is on the marina, you're right, Kate. Those are the ones I'm thinking of. All right, so I'm cheating a little bit. Where's my bone folder? Because in the rings, no, ringed with love designer series paper, I'm cutting out stuff. So, I've got three piece, or four pieces of designer series paper. Uh, this is a crumb cake A2 size card base. And then these are the pieces that I'm kind of cheating. So you could take the stamp set here and just stamp it and then cut it out. But I chose to cut out of the designer series paper. So if you don't have the paper, don't worry, because you've got this, I would put it on either crumb cake or you could even do early espresso depending on what you want for your projects it's pretty dark and then stamp over it and then just cut it it's super quick to cut so we're going to layer these and we're going to do this and then we've got just a piece here that i've cut also cut from the designer series paper and then we're going to do a, a sentiment let's do it let's do our sentiment first so as always with photopolymer stamps i recommend having a mat so that you can get a good impression. Uh, do I want red? Poppy Parade? On Poppy Parade. I don't think I do. I don't know. Let's just see. Where's my black? Oh, here it is. All right, we're either gonna do black or Poppy Parade. And I'm gonna do this long one. I'm gonna do Merry Christmas. Am I? I don't know. I think I'm actually going to do thinking of you because I do need to send a thinking of you card. Uh, oh, buffet projects. Uh, I, can, I can make that happen, Kate. I don't have all the kits done. Uh, it might be a bit clumsy, but that's, that's fine. I don't have any secrets. Uh, I will show you what I got going on. Okay, so this one, 
We're gonna see what this looks like. Oh, well that's terrible. Look, can't even see it. My ink pad needs to be re-inked. All right, well, let's just do it in black then, shall we? Oh, Christy, you say Christmas. Okay, well, we've got two more projects to go, so I won't disappoint you. How's your Zumba class this morning? Christy, have you gone yet? It's a bit early, it's only nine. I don't know what time your Zumba is. I'm jealous, I wanna go to Zumba. Maybe we can go when I come up on a weekend. Ooh, yeah, that pops, hey? I dig it. All right, you, Poppy Parade, I think needs to be re-inked, but we'll see. Now, watch this. I saw something in the catalog. Uh, oh yeah, it's right here, and it's open. And I'm gonna do a little, I'm thinking, hey, that's the same sentiment. See, subconscious, subconscious. Uh, okay, wait. We were watching Survivor last night and they uh, had to do this, they had like different angled puzzle pieces and they had to make a square and then they had to make a triangle out of the same pieces at like a different station. That looks okay, hey? This is reminding me of that. I want this on a bit more of an angle. There you go. All right, let's glue. You guys watch Survivor? What kind of shows do you guys watch? We had to get a new uh, uh, modem or something. I don't know, some kind of box that controls all the TV things. <laughs> I don't really watch TV. I, uh, I put it on so that there's noise sometimes. I get tired of the radio, but Lance, is, uh, Lance likes his TV. So we record shows. So we do Survivor. Oh, Lego Masters is happening right now. Anyways, what I don't know what's happening with the comments. Oh, The Crown, yes. Such a good show, Nancy. Love The Crown. It's really cool how they put that one together. I can't really see your comments because uh, of my glasses. That's what was happening at the beginning. Kate saw my glasses. I sent her a photo <laughs> of how ridiculous I looked. Oh, my glasses. So, uh, you know what uh, I spent money on this week is 600 and something dollars for an eye exam and new lenses for my glasses. Wah, wah. I'm not very happy about it, but it is what it is. I... Um, my farsightedness, I guess, is better, but then he wanted to bump up my reading strength. And yeah, I spend a lot of time on the computer reading, as you know, for school. And it's really hard on my eyes. I guess having uh, paper textbooks is not really cool anymore. Did I tell you guys? I, uh, I'm just lining this up here so that I can kind of get, this is the beginner card. So I'm just crafting and carrying on here. Uh, so it's not cool to have paper anymore. Did I tell you guys? They made fun of me, my classmates. I mean, Joe, um, they weren't being mean about it, but they were just sort of being a bit cheeky. It was hilarious. I went in, sorry if I've told you this story before, I went in uh, in residency to, uh, to like my class and I had a binder for the leadership class because she gave us all this reading we had to do beforehand, which I like paper. I'm stuck between paper and digital. And then uh, and then a couple of the people in the class, they're like, what's that? I'm like, well, it's, um, it's my reading for leadership. They're like, what are you in high school? Like what's with the binder thing? And I laughed and they laughed. And then, um, Probably three other people came up to me and they're like, "What's that? What's happening here? What do you? Why do you have a binder?" <laughs> and, uh, anyways, needless to say, I continue bringing the binder because, like, whatever. I this is how I prefer to read, and they were just being funny, anyways. But um, they're like, "Is that going to hold up your computer, or what? Like, what is that for?" <laughs> 
cheeky monkeys. It's pretty funny. So you know what I'm not liking about this? Are these pieces, because you know how my OCD and I like things to be straight and whatnot, but I am digging for a beginner card, chopping up the paper. Old school, yeah, the binders are old school, Kate. They're not cool anymore, just so you know. <laughs> anyway, so we got for this one of the new classes um, strategy. We have a textbook, and it was just like not an option to get it in paper. And then one of the people on my team, he's like, "Oh yeah, I picked it up at the Royal Roads Library." I'm like, "Gah!" Never even thought to do that. Genius. Anyways, I've committed to a digital book now anyways. Okay, so I'm just making sure that where I've got my dimensionals, because I've popped this one up, is not going to get in the way. And then I'm going to put a little put a little bow there. Do you guys have trouble with sometimes making cash, um, beginner cards? Like, I can't stop. I just want to keep adding pieces this is showing through just ever so slightly and i don't like it there we go uh i think here beautiful where is my twine and then this first one is done already i am gonna double up like i'm gonna do a double bow later on Yeah. All right, so what's happening? Uh, PBS series, what's the plural of series? What? What do you mean, Pam? PBS series, PBS has some good shows. That's a Canadian thing. If any of our American friends are watching, PBS is a Canadian broadcaster. I think, gosh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I dig this. Gosh, you know I want bling on it. You know I do. These ones, what's this? Solid faceted gems. So these, oh, come on, sure. A beginner could put these on too, right? So many rules. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Let's add... Oh, I don't know where to go. Okay, let's go right there. I want some little ones down here. We're gonna do two little ones. So these, this is, um, I think, I'm hoping this is mint macaron, whoops. And it match, so it matches, see the thread of green in there? Matchy, matchy. Let's go off the paper a bit, just so they pop. Sure. Card number one, done. Cool, right? So a beginner stamper is just ink stamp, no, paper, ink, and stamp. Okay, so it's close, it's close. Okay, card number two. So let's put these doodads away. Now, card number two, is here now ready for the wow I so a casual crafter uh, I'm debating because I don't know and maybe tell me if there are if you I don't know if you identify as a beginner casual or avid card crafter but do you think a, a casual card crafter would have a die cutting machine like an embossing stamp, no, what's it called? It used to be Sizzix. Stamp, cut, and emboss machine, that's it. Anyways, we're pretending today that our casual crafter does in fact have one of our machines. Okay, so here it is. This is what 
that embossing folder does. I am gonna show you how to do this in the Avid card. We're gonna break out the cut machine that I don't apparently know the name of. So these are the pieces. Just this is early espresso and this is crumb cake. Yes, they would. Nancy says yes, Christy says yes. Okay, good. Thank you for your support. So this is not, I measured the embossing folder, but look at my, look at my doodads. So when I have a bunch, I'm not gonna take them all out because that's gonna be a mess. When I have uh, extra pieces, I put them in the little plastic sleeve. This one has some glue on it apparently. And then save them for later. And you've seen me do that before. So these are all sorts of bits and pieces and then it lives inside the stamp case. So this is the same, but this will fit this because this is too big. That's cool. All right, now you have an embossed, it's puffy, like it comes towards you, and a debossed, which is um, like it goes in. I, in this case, like the embossed side to be up. So let's glue this down. You know, when I was thinking about these cards, um, I was gonna stamp in behind here. Oh crud, this is not the right size. Oh well, I thought I was being clever, but see, it's not, it's too big. That's cool, we'll cut it. Uh, yes, <laughs> especially if they won it as a prize. That's right. I should have actually, I had a 50% off and uh, I should have, I should buy on my next one, I should buy another mini and do it as a giveaway. See, totally fixed that. Don't even worry about it. It's all good. Okay. Now we have our pieces again. So just to remind you, this is our beginner. So we're adding in this. Uh, I wonder if I can, what do you guys think? Do you think these maybe a bit tighter and it'll look better for me? I don't know. Okay, so then I'm cheating again and I'm using two of the bigger pieces here. Um, I wanna make this a bit more fancy. Oh yes, see, I was gonna do these things. I thought about, so these are open leaf trinkets. What spin thing? Spin thing was, oh, like the, the, uh, the picker, like when it picks who the random winner is. I think it's called Wheel of Names. So these are beautiful. It's gonna add a little bling to our project. So, um, I feel like I've not prepared enough for this card. So I think what we're gonna do is, okay, Christy, let's do Merry Christmas. Uh, we're gonna do it on white. And then I might add in some of this. What's this? Frayed ribbon. Do you know the trick with this? There is a ton on this spool. How much is here? Five yards. That's a lot of ribbon. So with this, you want to take, whoops, not that. You can, so I don't know if you can see it. It's got like a bit of fray, like it's frayed a bit. So to accentuate that, you just find the end and pull. Just pull. See? And then you get frayed ribbon. We'll see. We might use it on this. And I had a, oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to use my punch. So many things. Focus. Let's stamp first. Uh, let's try Poppy Parade on white with Merry Christmas and see how we go. Oh, Lance is up. Let's clean this. I have so much studying to do. I would kind of like for the weather to go rainy and everything so that I didn't feel like I wanted to be outside when I have to study. 
Uh, where's my Merry Christmas? Oh, here it is down here. Uh, cheap sweaters. The Facebook comments are behind. All right, let's see. I'm going to stick to the outside of my ink pad because you know there's more ink around the outside. Like if you go in the middle, if you're in a re-inking situation, I think I'm going to, I think this is going to be fine. I'm shaking today. Must need another coffee. Oh yeah, it does need to be re-inked though because I've got a bit of ombre going on, but I dig it. Sweet. All right. Let's bring this back in. So for the casual, I have to pace myself. I don't want to go crazy here with my getting into Avid. So we're going to add these on top of our embossed piece. It's all about the layers. And this one. Okay, so what else is going on? Did I say I'm voting today? Don't forget, you have to vote. It's a municipal election. Today is voting day, if you haven't voted already. It's very important. I need to, um, I need to actually spend about an hour putting together some, like I need to research a bit of the candidates. I don't feel like I know enough yet. I don't know. Anyways, that's just in Canada. Okay, now I think what we'll do, so from the casual one, we're, or I mean beginner, now we're casual. I feel like maybe just one mushroom, or mushroom tree ring. So let's, let's see what we got going on in here. Just wait for the Avid project, guys. It's gonna be nuts. Okay, I think smaller, yeah, yep. Yeah. So like I said, with the ringed of rings of love paper that I'm using from Celebration, you can just stamp from the stamp set the tree rings and put it on your project. Oh my gosh, it's the same size, Tanya. <laughs> All right, so apparently I'm fine with the size. I'm just, I don't want this white. It's a bit stark. So I'm just gonna fussy cut this quickly. All right, so what else is going on? On stage. So as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, on stage is coming up in November. So we are going to Vancouver for convention. There's a whole gaggle of us, a gaggle of gals. So we're gonna stay overnight in Vancouver. We're gonna go to the conference. I think we're, hopefully we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. All right, this is coming together and I do want to add this trinket. All right, let's punch. Where's my paper? So let's take mint macaron, which is this color in here and we're gonna, we're gonna punch. This is the, I kind of like this sprig punch that Stampin' Up! used to have. Uh, this is not all gonna fit on one, so we're gonna separate it. Yeah, that's gonna look nice. So try to get the most out of your paper, right? Like line it up. And I might do one more of that little one. Hi, Lance. Are there smoothies in my future? No. What? No smoothies today. What a rip off. Uh, I will kind of have to prepare for my create share. Okay, Nancy, see you later. Thanks for tuning in. And hello to my YouTube friends. Oh, Pam, good for you, you voted already. Good job. All right. Your 
Lance is listing off all the things that he and Zach have to do today. It's funny. I can just see Zach cringing. Oh, dad. <laughs> okay, so our casual crafter, we're going to add in some... I think I could actually get away with... Um, gosh, where are my words? A different color leaf. Might add this on. Okay, let's deal with our sentiment. Now, Christine, I'm going to freehand cut this. She always cringes when I do this. Um, I'm debating if I want to do this or if I want to like cut around it. We'll see. We'll do this first and then we'll see. And just so that we're matchy matchy, let's snip the sides. I have no idea if this is going to look good. Should have cut this. Eh, I don't know. All right. Now, what I am going to do is I was thinking I would... I may have messed this up. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to add some Poppy Parade to the back of this. Okay, it's not terrible. What do you think? Freehand that. I think I nailed it, y'all. I'm going to just trim this a little bit. Good. I'm gonna live with it. Let's see if dimensionals will fit. Oh yeah. Uh, let's do three. All right. What else can I tell you about? Oh, so tomorrow's buffet, card buffet. So if you don't, if you're not familiar with a card buffet, is when you come to my house, and we, I have a whole bunch of projects. Oops, I'm gonna have to cut this again. A whole bunch of projects in baskets. I'm going to show you here as per Kate's request. So you get set up in a, at your station and you grab a basket of a project and then you make the card. All the supplies to make the card are in the basket and then you chit chat and gab with everybody and then you put the basket back when you're finished making your project and you grab the next one. So how many do I have? I think, um, I think I have seven projects. Like I said, I'm not finished. What's happening here? My dimensional's in the way. So when this happens, don't be afraid to just cut it because then it fits. So, uh, okay, so just, uh, so tomorrow, the 16th, is one card class, or card buffet, I should say, and then October 29th, which, mm, it's kind of full, but the next ones are in November, oh, uh, do I have the dates? Oh, I do! Here they are. Um... November 20th and 26th. And then this holiday creative class on the 5th or 6th of November, this one can be virtual and it's got a product share. So 10 projects plus a product share from the mini. That one, there is room. Okay, it's coming together, y'all. Uh, I think that's gonna live there. Oh, the smoothies are in my future. You're going to hear the machine maybe in a minute. Okay, so this is cut from the designer series paper. So I'm going to tuck that, and it, this is going to cover this. Actually, let's just do this. Sorry for the noise of the machine. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. I got mad freehand, freehand cutting skills. Oh, I thank you. 
Oh, I was thinking about putting some of this, but I think I missed my window of opportunity. Yep, it's over. The moment has passed. Let's do one. Yep, you're gonna live there. So then the trick is to just add pieces, layers, without it looking gaudy. Well, unless that's the look you're going for, then do it. Uh, maybe gaudy is not the right word. Busy. Hopefully it's not too busy. Okay, so I've added a glue dot here so that, mm, I feel like maybe it's pretty heavy. I don't know if one glue dot will do it, but that's what we're going with. Hopefully it stays. Yep. Okay. Let's do our embellishments again. Okay. I think, uh, I like the embossing folder accent in the back. Okay, I've got two little ones here. And then this one, oh, I gotta add just a little bit of, oh, somebody's at the door. Oh yeah, probably grandma. I heard it, something knock. A little bit of this. Is there somebody at the door? Oh, someone's in the garage. Oh, garage. It's grandma then for sure. <laughs> oh, my mom's here. Okay. All right. But then we're gonna move on to our avid. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Wonder why my mom is here. Bringing snacks. Okay. So two so far. We've got casual. No beginner. Casual. Now. Avid. All right. Now I'm going to have to pace myself here because we're going to have all the things. Now, here's our pieces. Hi, Mom. Hi. Oh, thank you. Here's those. Here's our pieces. Now, thanks, Lance. All right. So we're going to get out our embossing machine. So that we can, I'm going to show you this dynamic embossing folder. Sorry, just let me clean up all my crap here. Okay, it's big. So we're going to keep this piece out. And the big machine. Okay, so I don't need these plates. Here's the dynamic embossing. Christy, I will tell my mom to say hi. Uh, all right, so here's the embossing folder. Christy says hi to mom. Christy says hi to who? Mom. Okay, bye Christy, good chatting. <laughs> and okay, so here's the embossing folder. Now, with, like we talked about before, we've got an emboss and a deboss side. So what you want to do if you have this so here's the die so you've got the side that is raised that does the cutting and then you've got the flat side here so what you want to do is find the side that matches obviously and it's going to what is this this is the this is the um debossed side so i guess the side that has the stampin up logo and this sits in here. It doesn't snap in, but it sits. Like you'll know if it's like off to the side or whatever, and then maybe listen. See, and then it, it sits in there. Okay. Um, do I want this one? Sure, let's do this one. Uh, no, I don't want this one. I want this one. So we're gonna rest that on there and we're gonna close it. Hold on to it, because like I said, that piece is not locked into place, so I'm holding on to it. 
this is the base, like the standard base. And then I've got, I don't know, whatever plate this is, number four. So I'm gonna layer this. Then we're doing this. Oh. All right. Now watch this. So cool. Okay. Now this little gizmo has embossed and cut our tree rings. Isn't that amazing? I have never used a folder like this and I dig it. It's so cool. So I think you could probably keep this other piece and just trim it down maybe. <clears throat> trim it down before you do this and then use that yeah, in your project. I'm not gonna do that today because I haven't put any thought into that. So then you have all these pieces. Now, uh, here's another thing. So let's now just emboss. So we're just putting in a piece of cardstock, we're closing it, and then same, same uh, plates, like so. And then here's our embossed piece like that so now you could if you're like oh shoot i forgot i wanted to cut those you could certainly go ahead and line this up like so and then just put it in your machine and then it will give you these things whichever okay so then in our dies where are my dies oh here they are now the other piece <clears throat> I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't need it anymore. One moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Is, <clears throat> so in the die set, there are these separate rings that we talked about. And they match. They nest in the larger tree rings. And you're like, okay, well, that's cool, but why? Why do you want to do that? Well, friends, let me tell you why. Let me just flip to 62 so I can show you, because I didn't make one, is this. So you've got a piece that's cut out here, this larger, darker colored one, and then you have this piece, which I think in this example is just been cut from a piece of crumb cake and then the piece layered over here. And then there's these, you get two of these, which make it like the center of a tree ring. That's what happens. Those are the pieces. Coolio, right? Coolio. All right, so let's make our third and final project of the day. So still, we're still working with our crumb cake card base. And I do, this is bigger than I need it to be. Oh, is it this way? Yeah, so it's just the bottom that's a bit taller than it needs to be. So I will chop that off. I could cut it with my trimmer but why not complicate things and cut it while it's on the card? <laughs> it is an avid project, of course. Okay. Close enough to the bottom, the glue, I mean. So I always cut from the back so I can see. Done and done. All right, so we've got our base, which is similar to our casual. Let's add our four strips. And uh, I should actually stand by. I'm going to pop one of these because we can. Uh, I might regret this, but whatever. We'll just see. I'm doing three. I'm gonna alternate. I'm gonna go down, then up, then down. We'll see. 
This is Avid, so it's got to have all the things. See, I'm already regretting it because now you got to tuck this. I think I do want a little, I should have put a little bit of separation. I'm looking at the samples and see how this one's got no separation and this one has a bit poking through and I think this is better. Too late now though, but in case you decide to make this project, then you might consider that. So what do you guys think of the dynamic embossing folder? Is it the wow? Is it a wow factor for you? It's for me. All right, so these are out. I think I'm gonna do two here and here. That's too big. This one and this one. Oh yes, and there's my poppy parade. I'm gonna do a heart this time. So this heart has a nice little, I don't know what you call them, strokes on the side. Yeah, this needs to be re-inked, like, badly. I keep looking because it's not inking properly. Like, it's too ombre-ish. It's cool, though. There's no dye for this, so let me cut it quickly. And I did get a smoothie. A smoothie was in my future. Oh, my mom's taking cookie orders. My mom loves to bake. Uh, Pam, do you have the dynamic embossing folder? I wonder. Yeah, that's cute. All right. Now, since I popped these up and caused myself some grief here. Oh, here we go. We're going to use these. Now, I'll have to just, what I mean by that is I've popped these up. And so now I can't just glue this down. I have to be mindful. So let's talk about the leaf pieces. And I'm going to cheat because I have some done already. So this, in the dies, you will. there's lots of different greenery pieces. So this is one of them. And I've used the Stampin' Blends, which are here, to uh, color them. So I have green and then some brown and then some red tips for the berries. So I am going to... I saw a couple more in here which were already done. So there's one there. And then there's some solid pieces here. I like, this is Mossy Meadow, this green. I like it. Oh, there's a little acorn in there too. All right, let's come out, you. Okay, let's make this little acorn too, because we can. <sighs> So do you guys consider yourself a avid, casual, or beginner? Or you're just a crafter and you just craft. You don't, you don't need to have a title. <laughs> oh, hi, Erica. Oh, Erica, you haven't worked with this set yet? Just wait, girl. You wanna see the projects? I'll show you, just so you can see. So Erica, we're doing beginner, and then we're doing casual. This is ambitious for casual, and we're doing avid now. Yes, yeah, so you have to get this set out and work with it. I'm just seeing if I have any other branches that I should be mindful of. So the dynamic embossing folder, I'm impressed with. All right, so now we're going to, we're just gonna start putting our pieces together, our layers. Uh, I'm gonna add this to the project and then add glue. So I make sure I have the, the height correct. You know what I mean? So that goes there. Um, I think, 
just so that you can see what it looks like. I kind of wish that I would have cut a piece. Mm, this might not be the right one. I cut a piece. I'm just looking over here, my other pieces. Oh yeah, oh look, I found another leaf. Yeah, in crumb cake, I think I would be happy with that. Not with this color, but to add a layer in there. I'm not gonna do it because we're already, we're already at 49 minutes, so I don't wanna keep you. But as a sidebar, if you're using this, Consider that, putting in the different layers. Whoops, I need a dimensional. Okay, so for me to do, to get to the Avid Arena, it's uh, layers and embellishments coming together. I don't have a sentiment. Hold the phone. All right, so let's do, I have Merry Christmas Mounted, and I have Poppy Parade. So let's just do it again. Thanks for spending time with me, guys, and, and crafting. I do appreciate your feedback and input on the projects. Oh, yes, Erica, the retreat. That's coming up probably in just a couple of weeks, hey? I know I've got a couple of folks that are not coming to my class. My, what's it called? The, um, this one, holiday creative class, which I guess is on the same weekend as your guys' retreat. Funnily enough, yeah, they're going to your retreat instead. So that's out in Souk. That's going to be so fun. Um, I think I might flag this one. I don't know. So because I don't have another piece of Poppy Parade, like a long piece, um, we're just going to accent this sentiment with the strip that I have. Because I want to add... Oh, you know what? I changed my mind. Cutting it. Just talk amongst yourselves while I do this a little bit. Gosh, Erica, not to worry. I'm just glad people are crafting and having fun. Oh my gosh, I'm splitting up this sentiment. It just came to me. Going rogue. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is uh, finicky. It's good though. Here's Mary. It is a beautiful location, Lori. It is. What's the name of the hotel out in Souk you guys are going to? Prestige, I think it's called. I went out there for coffee with my friends. Uh, oh, Sue. I was thinking Sue Phillip, but it's a different Sue. And we sat out, we got a coffee from the little coffee bar there when you first go in, in the lobby. And then we went out to the back. Gosh, you're right, Lori. Um, yeah, Lori, it's beautiful with the, I mean, it was sunny and looks like there were little fire tables that you could sit next to. Prestige Hotel in Souk. Souk is an up and coming, happening place. I think some people in Souk want to keep it a secret, but I think it's been found out. Okay, so I'm happy with this, and I think I'm okay with it on this early espresso. I'm not gonna, I don't know that I need to pop it on red. Maybe, we'll see. All right, let's carry on here. We're going to add our greenery. So in our other project, we use the punch and then these ones for the Avid is just kicked up a notch. Both look beautiful. And I do like this mossy meadow. I mean, ideally I would be 
using the mint macaron, but it's not, I don't have that. So we're not gonna do that. I don't have them cut. Okay, so let's glue this down. So Christmas. Don't forget to vote today, Erica, if you missed the other part, if you haven't done that already. I think you're in Saanich. Municipal elections. All right, so now let's add, I've got this little heart. Ah, there's my mini dimensionals. Hmm. I'm out. So we're improvising. Whoop. Oh gosh, you know what? You know what happened? Um, maybe if you recall, I lost a die for this one set. What catalog was it from? The last mini. And I was so bummed out about it. I thought maybe I had thrown it away um, in my recycling but I found it the other day. It was attached to, whatchamacallit, some magnetic sheets. Ooh, that's still got glue on it. What do you think? This is coming together okay? Yes, Kate, found the die. Gosh, I was so happy. I mean, I can't, the set is retired now anyways, but Oh gosh, you know what I didn't tell you about? I have all my retired stuff downstairs ready for garage sale selling. All right, I'm adding, I think one more maybe over here. It doesn't really go. I think I might leave it. So I have, gosh, maybe two years. Oh yeah, that looks good. Two years worth of retired Stampin' Up! stuff. And it's ready for sale. So tomorrow at the card buffet. Oh, I got to show you my card um, buffet projects. This one seems kind of not super avid, but that's because I didn't die. I didn't sort of have to do all the elements right now. Anyway, so my retired stuff is all downstairs, ready to go. So the buffet folks tomorrow will get to, if they wish, to go and have a little looky-loo. And then folks who are coming to the buffet on the 29th of October can do the same. And then whatever is left over, uh, I'm going to post online. If that's of interest. I do have these little gold, but I don't think I want to use it. Do I? I don't think so. No. You're out. Uh, oh yeah, my ribbon. Now, let's do a double, and then we're done. And then I will show you my buffet cards for tomorrow. So, if you're coming tomorrow and you don't want the surprise to be ruined you'll have to look away but i'll give you notice they're kind of all over the place and they're not finished so please don't judge i'm doing a double bow here there's probably a better way to do it i don't know how to do a double bow all at once but this works too i'm glad i found that die too pam it's a cool, where is it? It might be here on my desk somewhere. I haven't taken it downstairs yet, but um, it was like a leaf, like a banana leaf kind of outline. I love this set. I'm hoping they bring it back. Where are my glue dots? Okay, we're almost done.
Yeah, the magnetic. And f funny enough, uh, Pam, I found them. Oops, that's kind of in the way, isn't it? Uh, I found the die attached to the magnetic pieces, which is funny. It does keep them organized for sure. All right, here we go. Let me move on my junk so we can see all the projects. I feel like this Avid is very similar to our casual. What do you think? Oh, I forgot to use red dots. Those would have been good too. I forgot about them. Oh, well. All right. So we have Avid. We have Casual. And we have Beginner. So let's do a close up. So there's Beginner. And there's our Casual. And then Avid. So we're using the embossing folder folder and the dynamic part of the embossing folder and I think taking this crumb cake and adding in a layer in one or both of these uh, would be super cute as well so those are our pieces okay I'm taking you over to see the buffet project running to Zumba have a good day bye Christine okay don't judge they're not really done. Um, okay, I'll just show you. I'll just show you what I got going on. Okay, so here's the first one, this one. And then here's the second one. This one's a, this one's a fun fold. And then in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we've got a pink card. And then, these are the ones that are not done yet. We've got this one. And then we're going to use this one and some coloring. And then we're going to do something with these. I think I'm going to replicate that one that you gave me before. Okay, that's the card Kate gave me which is lovely, by the way, it's a fun fold. So I'm not totally prepared for tomorrow, but that's what today is for, and studying. It's a good break between studying is designing cards and making card kits. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Super fun today with our three projects. See some of you tomorrow at the buffet. Uh, message me if you're interested in coming to any of the upcoming classes. And uh, also, if you need a demonstrator and you're in Canada, I'm happy to help you there too. Need a catalog or supplies or anything? Let's talk. See you next week, guys. Bye for now.